Whether you want to mark your photos or not, I think it's crucial that you at the very least consider adding your copyright information to the metadata of your photos. And this is something that's super easy to achieve and just as easy to automate. So today I'm going to share with you how you can add your copyright information to the metadata of your photos and how to ensure that this copyright information is automatically added to the images each time you open up Photoshop. Right, here's a photo opened up in Photoshop. This is not copyrighted in the metadata and you can tell by the lack of the copyright C that would be over here at the description title. So the first step is to create your copyright template. Go to File and head down to File Info, which automatically opens up at its basic tab, which is exactly where you want to be. Over here, there really are just three boxes you want to pay attention to. Firstly, Author, and I'm assuming that's you, so put your name there. Next, change the copyright status to Copyrighted and add your copyright notice. This is where the copyright C symbol can go if you choose to incorporate one. To enter this with your keyboard on a PC, type Alt-0169 or Option-G on a Mac. If you have a website with your copyright info, you can add the URL as well. Export this template and give it a name. And if you are following this tutorial step by step, copy this template name for a future step. Save, OK. And there is your copyright C. But let's close this and not save it. And let's open it again. And you see it's not copyrighted. So what you could do is open up the basic panel every time you open a new image and import your copyright template, but that's not ideal. So let's set this up for automation. First off, let's create an action. And this is not at all as complicated as it sounds. It's actually super easy. And we'll create an action that applies the copyright template. Go to Window and click on Actions. Here you'll see a bin with my custom actions. Feel free to create your own one. Next, click on this icon to create a new action. Paste the template name if you copied it earlier or type it out and hit record. This red dot here, it indicates that Photoshop is recording your actions. Now let's apply the copyright template. File, file info, import, select your template, open, okay. And OK. There's your C. Stop the action recording. And there is your saved action over there. But again, exit without saving. No more C. But here is where we put an end to our troubles. We're going to tell Photoshop to add the copyright automatically. Go to File, Scripts, Script Events Manager. Make sure this box is checked. And at Photoshop event, select New Document. Check the Action section. Find your customized action bin if you created one. Select your saved action and add it to your scripts. Now also select Open Document from the drop-down menu and add that command to your scripts as well. Click Done because we're done. No C, but for the last time, let's close this up. Open and boom. Each time you create or open a document, Photoshop will apply your copyright information automatically. And with that, I bid you farewell, folks. I hope you found this helpful. I certainly did. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.